Gentlemen, what's going on? In this video, we're going to be talking about sport coats, how to start wearing them, and how to actually enjoy wearing them, and just a couple of things you can do and making it a little bit easier from transitioning to not wearing one to wearing one a lot of the times. So starting to wear a sport coat or starting to dress up in any manner can be tricky because you're going to get a lot of comments and a lot of attention. It might be wanted, it might be unwanted, but it can be very, very tricky. People are not used to seeing you dressed up and they may comment, it may be positive, it may be negative, you're gonna get a little bit of both. And that's kind of unfortunate because wearing a sport coat can make you feel like a million bucks. It really does fit well, it does build up your shoulders, it does cinch your waist, it just makes you look much more professional, much more put together, and it makes you just feel good. But wearing a sport coat, while it does make you look good, it's really important to note that it, just because you're dressed better than somebody else, does not make you any better or worse than them just because they're not dressed as well as you. All right, so the first thing I can think of is to make it a little bit easier to start wearing a sport coat is start wearing it as an outside jacket. Fall and winter are a great time to do this because what you can do is you can basically just take a basic outfit like I have, blue shirt, khaki pants, throw on the sport coat over it, and if it's in a nice fabric like this, which is like a kind of a warm wool fabric, it's not a summer, spring, it's more of a fall, winter fabric, it actually is gonna keep you a little bit warmer, and instead of wearing a leather jacket or a field jacket or another lightweight jacket, you could actually wear the sport coat as an outside jacket. Now, it's probably gonna happen, I know this is, at least this is what happened to me, is you're gonna walk inside, everyone's gonna look at you, and they're gonna say, why are you so dressed up? what's going on, where are you gonna go. In wearing it as an outside jacket and when it's cold outside in the fall or winter, it's gonna give you the option to just take it off and actually go hang it up. And you could just pretty much say something like, oh, I thought it was a nice jacket, it's warm, it's cold out, so I'm wearing it for function. That's gonna make it a little bit easier so people are gonna say, oh, okay, they're not gonna tease you as much. Although it's not bad to be teased, it is gonna make it a little bit easier to transition from not wearing one to wearing one by wearing it as an outside jacket. And this is important because it is a different experience, totally different experience than wearing just a run of the mill rain jacket, down jacket, parka jacket. And this is a really good strategy you can implement, especially in today's casual environment. A lot of people unfortunately aren't wearing suits or sport coats that much anymore. So once you've got used to wearing the sport jacket or the sport coat in the fall and winter, come spring and summer, you could actually start to transition to also wearing one. And by that time, you're already going to be used to the attention you're getting. And you'll find that your peers are also going to just be used to you always wearing one. They're just going to say, oh, so-and-so just always wears a sport coat. That's just kind of what he does. No one's really going to bat an eye. They're kind of going to get over it. And once you wear it in the spring and summertime, if you invest in a lightweight one or a linen one, if people can you know, ask about it, they can say, why are you wearing a sport coat? It's so hot outside. You can simply just say, I started wearing it in the fall and winter. I really like the way I feel. I like the way it looks. So I invested in a lightweight one in the spring and summer. And there you go. Much easier to transition into wearing a sport coat and getting used to it that way than just starting to wear one all the time. Another thing you can do in order to start wearing a sport coat more easily is stay away from those big, loud check patterns, the, the lighter color ones, super light gray, super light brown, or tan. Stick with blue, stick with browns, stick with grays. If you're wearing mostly khaki pants for work like I do, blue is a great option. If you go with something a little bit lighter of a blue like this one, you can wear your dark denim. It's going to contrast nicely and it's just not gonna be as memorable, you're gonna be able to wear it a lot more, and just blue just looks a little bit more classic. Same thing with gray. If you're wearing a lot more navy blue pants, if you're wearing jeans and navy blue chinos, gray's gonna be a great option, as well as brown. I recently tried on a dark brown one, and I didn't like it, and I decided to get the blue one instead. I just find it works better with my complexion, with what I like to wear. I just feel better in blue, especially this one's like, it's like a medium navy. It's not super dark navy, but it's not super light either. It just kind of works for me. So go with the classic pieces. Don't go with the super loud, crazy designs. Again, it's gonna make you feel great when you wear it once in a while, but to wear it every day, people are gonna start looking. You can wear something, a classic blue wool one like this, or even something like this. This is more of an all weather fabric. It is a little bit lighter, it's a little bit more airy, but you can see the color is a little bit darker. For the most part, the one that I'm wearing, or this one, you could pretty much wear, it could be your only sport coat, and no one's really gonna bat an eye or say anything. They're just gonna say, oh, yep, that's your sport coat. I like it, it fits great, it makes you look great. It's gonna make you feel like a million bucks. So start with your basics, start with your, what do they call them? Start with your essential pieces like blue, gray, medium brown. So one thing you may find as you start dressing up a little bit more is 
other people are going to notice it and they may actually ask you, not in front of everyone, they may actually ask you, hey, where'd you get that sport coat? You know, I wish I could wear one, I just don't have, I don't feel like I have it in me to wear one. That's a great opportunity to share your experience and just say, hey, look, you know, go to the thrift store, get one for a little bit cheaper, get a tailor to stitch it up, start wearing it as an outside jacket, and you'll be able to share your experience and actually help them. And don't be surprised if some of your other friends and colleagues, some of your peers at work or anything like that, don't be surprised if they start dressing up as well. It's a great way to kind of just lift everybody up and help everybody else out. So in conclusion, sport coats are a great option, especially in fall and winter, and even spring and summer if you get a nice linen one. What they do is they build up your shoulders, they slim down your waist, they make you appear, you know, broad shoulders, slim waist, and they make you appear taller. And it just makes you feel, for me at least, it makes me feel like a million bucks. It makes you look great, it makes you feel great, get one fitted, it looks perfect. So now you might be asking or wondering, why not just wear a full suit? Well, full suits are great as well, but they don't give you the versatility of, you can end up being overdressed in a lot of situations. And sure, you could always take off the suit jacket and just wear the suit pants, but the suit pants are very dressy as well. Whereas a sport coat can work with anything from khaki chinos, blue chinos, gray chinos, to even some if you're brave, distressed jeans as well. You know, the light colored jeans maybe wearing it in the summertime, you can wear it with boots. You could even pull it off with some white leather sneakers or, you know, even some casual sneakers, some Vans old schools. You don't get that versatility wearing a full suit. And let's not forget, if you walk in somewhere and you're wearing a sport coat and a button up shirt like this, you do have the option of just taking it off, untucking your shirt, rolling up your sleeves. Now you match the environment. You don't look too stuffy. You don't look too arrogant or anything like that. You don't look too overdressed. Whereas if you walk in and everyone else is wearing a suit, at least you do have a jacket on. No one's really gonna bat an eye. Sure, if everyone else is wearing suits, yeah, you're a little bit underdressed, but as long as you keep it fitted and nice and classic, no one's gonna bat an eye. You're gonna look just like everybody else. Those sport coats will definitely set you apart. They're a great conversation starter. They will make you stand out and it's just something that's great. I mean, I really enjoy wearing one. I'm actually going to transition to wearing one more just because now it's fall and winter right now. And then as I get used to wearing one in the spring and summer, I may invest in a linen sport coat because it does get super, super hot in the spring and summer. If you guys remember that video I did with Reggie, I was wearing my other sport coat and it was just way too hot. I was rethinking, I said, I need a linen sport coat. It's also, you're gonna find people are gonna ask about it and it's gonna be a great conversation starter. So it's a great way to meet people, make new friends and just network. So gentlemen, thanks so much for stopping by. Hope you learned something, hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you're gonna start wearing sport coats or if you have any other coats or jackets or anything really that makes you feel like a million bucks and people are always asking about. That being said, appreciate you guys watching as always. Consider subscribing and as always, talk to you guys soon. Bye.